Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a double unboxing. One, this box is from the US and it's a trade that I've done. I've traded a lounge fly for another one and ears actually. So I've got some ears and lounge fly in there. This box is from a company called Magical Day Apparel and they do all sorts of different fancy box opener, different tops, different t-shirts, actually. Rip this outer part off. I found them on Instagram. I will link all their information down below. <gasps> Magical Day Apparel. Ooh. opening these sorts of boxes sorry if this is noisy oh i'm so excited oh look so i'm just gonna put that box down there oh wow sweatshirt you can see it says there magical day apparel on their tag and then if i open it up oh it said you can see it says just there show yourself so i mean you can already tell this is an elsa top it's just just plain white on the back so just there it says show yourself and then on this sleeve it says let me try and fold it out a little bit make it easier it says step into your power Ooh, i'm going to try and hold this up so you can see it all properly so that's all along the is that the right sleeve yeah the right hand i'm getting this wrong so it says step into your power all along the right hand sleeve and then it's got the different spirit elements. So earth, air, fire and water. Oh, and then obviously Elsa is the fifth spirit. This is so beautiful. The inside. Oh yeah, this is going to be a warm one. So it's quite, it's not that full fleece. It's like that half fleecy sort of style material. I'll just hold that up. You might be able to see what I mean. This is so pretty. So it's kind of like one of those understated ones where if you know what it is, you know what it is. I just love the idea of having some of that detail down the arm. I just think that's so beautiful. So that's the first item. Again, like I said, I will, I'm just gonna try and fold it real quick. There we go. I'll link all their, all their details down below. And this box is a trade that I did. I traded one of my lounge fly for another one in one of the, Facebook groups. Now it's the first, I've done many trades of different things throughout the years, but this is the first ever lounge fly trade that I've done. Um, okay. Oh, that went off a little bit at the end. Okay. Put that there. Actually, I'll just put this top here. Oh, I haven't folded that very well. If I just put it like that, you can see. I haven't folded that very well at all. Anyway, to the lounge fly. And ears, actually. So I traded a bag for a bag and ears. I'm going to get the ears out first. Actually, if I get the bag out, because it's in a Disney bag, so you can't see it yet. Although you will have guessed by the title. So I'll pop it up there for a second. So, all around. Queen Cruise Light Ears. It's a clue as to what this is. Uh, the price of these is $27.99. Oh, it has the Disney Cruise Line tag just there. And then it's like rose gold sequins and then a blue, quite thick padded bow with some little anchors on. And the anchors actually have a little Mickey at the top. So if I hold that a bit closer. You know I'm going to put them on, she says. And get the tag to go behind. Do they, they feel in the middle? Do love a good sequin. So you could probably guess what's in here. Another sequin bag. I've always wanted this one, but I've never been lucky enough to have it. So I'm so, so glad that I just made it for this. I'll just shove that there. Oh, wow. 
So Disney Cruise Line. Now I've never been on a cruise, let alone a Disney cruise. I have a bit of a fear of, I have lots of fears. I have a bit of a fear of boats and it's all because of the Jaws film. I watched that when I was way too young. So as my husband will testify, I now have a bit of an issue with boats and the ocean. However, I mean, a Disney cruise is big enough that I don't think I would need to worry about a shark in the ocean. Oh, cat's just gotten into one of the boxes. So if you hear any solid noise, bit of box time. Um, oh, wow. This is stunning. So it's like a navy deep blue colour for the sequins and then like a nautical style bow. Again, the anchor on there. Oh, it's beautiful. And then the tag says Disney Cruise Line. Oh, it's so sparkly. And then this one also has Mickey ears, which sparkle as well. And on the sides, obviously the back and bottom doesn't have any sequins. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Okay, open it up. And sorry for the noise, getting out the packing. Lots of packing. A bit more packing. Okay, I'll leave the rest in. Oh, so the little symbols inside. There's the anchor with the Mickey. Where's that? Oh no, it's just on the bow, isn't it? So the anchor with the Mickey on. The Disney Cruise, I will show it in a sec. Symbol, so like the three waves with the Mickey. What it the ship steering wheel? I can't think of what they're called now. Um, but it's got those, so that's the design on the inside, if you can see all of those. This one I believe retailed for $90 because it's one of the sequin ones. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, the bit back off. That should be the same lining for the front pocket, which again, it's got that little foam part. If you can see just at the front, maybe just there. That has the same lining. I'm so excited. Another sequin bag. I think you can tell by now kind of my thing is sequin bags. I can never have enough sequins really. So I thought I'd really quickly explain this trade process as well. So what I did was I posted some of, I got some pictures of the bags that I had that were available for trade, posted them on a Facebook group with a collage picture of the, some of the bags that I was looking for. Somebody then commented on my post saying she was interested in one of the bags and that she had this cruise line bag to trade and also the ears because the bag that I was trading was a little bit more expensive than the cruise line bag by itself, but she was more than happy to include the ears. Obviously, I'm very happy to have the ears. So what we did, which a lot of the Facebook groups say that you should do, which obviously we did, was we did a PayPal back trade. So what that means is basically you agree on an amount. So I think we agreed on $100. You send each other $100 as goods and services. And that way, if anything were to happen to one of the bags, if for whatever reason one of them wasn't sent, for example, you could then claim through PayPal to get the money back for the value of the bag that you were trading. Everything went absolutely smoothly with this trade. I mean, they normally do. 
and an amazing thing if you are local to your trader you can obviously potentially meet in person i've done that with items in the past where someone's come to collect something from me obviously with this being a us trade <laughs> i wasn't able to go to the us to actually get it but yeah i just thought i'd quickly explain that trade process to you thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye